I've got every single fruit from Bloxers in a tier list, and I'm going to be ranking them to decide what are the best fruits in the game. Now, I'm going to be ranking these on four main things. Visuals, damage, how functional it is, and we'll get into the fourth one a bit later on. The first fruit we are going to be ranking is the Rocket Fruit. The cheapest fruit in all of Blox Fruits. Now, in terms of visuals for the Rocket Fruit, the actual fruit itself is kind of clean. I also like the little blast off that it does here. That's very cool. However, visuals isn't just the fruit. It's also visuals of the attacks. And I gotta say, the blasts and stuff for this fruit, kind of sick. This also looks very cool. Like, this is just a better flame fruit, if I'm being honest. It just looks better than flame. So in terms of visuals, this is like a pretty high-ranking fruit. But when it comes to damage... The rocket fruit is kind of mid because of how difficult it is to hit things with the moves. Or at least how difficult it is to hit other players with moves. If you're grinding against mobs, it's not too bad. But also, just having only three attacks is so bad. So although this fruit isn't as good as the mighty kilo fruit, it's all right. I definitely wouldn't put it in anywhere above C tier. So you know what? I'll just leave it in C tier. That's mainly because of its damage. Next up, we have got the spin fruits. Now this fruit, in terms of visuals, pretty basic on the fruit department. The attacks? That one, like, didn't even come out. But the attacks are like pretty cool they look very similar to like the swords which is quite nice but apart from that like the visuals are the only thing about this fruit that make it like semi good once again just only having three moves is so bad for the fruit now there is one thing that makes this fruit like slightly decent it's the fact that that move goes so far but that's not gonna make it rank up like a whole extra tier so i'm gonna give the spin fruit also a c tier you know it's about the same as rocket the next fruit we have got is chop now this fruit i was instantly gonna put in f tier However, there is one thing about this fruit that makes it impossible to put it in F tier. Its moves might all look bad, actually be bad, and like only really do damage if you get super close. But because of this one feature of this fruit that makes you immune to swords, I physically can't put it in F tier. So this fruit is going to be on the higher end of C tier. Next up, we have got Spring. And this fruit, wow, is it bad. It's got no range, hardly any damage. And not only that, the visuals are so bad. However, there is one thing about this fruit that makes it not terrible and it involves this bridge right here surprisingly the fact that with the spring fruit you can yes, do this sir. Yes, sir. and just bounce across the bridge faster than the light fruit is the only thing that makes this fruit not an f tier because best believe i would have put this in f tier but the fourth category i mentioned at the very start is enjoyment so how fun the fruit actually is to use and because you can do this one thing that's what makes spring not an f tier but then again it's also a, it's still at the very bottom of c tier next on the tier list is another common the bomb fruit this fruit's visuals super cool this is one of my favorite like actual fruits to just hold but in terms of the attack visuals they are um a bit lackluster you could say just, just a little bit lackluster. And in terms of like actual grinding and how useful it is just in general, it's really not that good. However, this fruit is easily better than every other fruit in common because of this one move right here. This move has the potential to be the most damaging move in the entire game because of this. You can just pull the enemies over and over and then they just melt and they can't even see the mines. At least like that's my favorite thing to do with it. Also, I do really like using self-destruct and just like sacrificing all of my HP. To do a big damage attack. However, I did all that damage and lost 10k HP, so not really worth. So if I had to rate the bomb fruit, it would honestly probably be top of C tier because I love placing the mines down so much without people realizing. Now, don't get me started on the smoke fruit. The first elemental fruit on this list. Now, the fruit actually looks kind of cool. The attacks, I mean, they're all right. They look kind of cool. The craziest thing about this fruit isn't the fact that you can just not take damage. It's how much damage this fruit does for being a common. Although it's only got three moves, you can just absolutely melt health with this fruit. It's not even fair. And for grinding, you can just fly around enemies and never have to worry about being hit. So that's why smoke yes, deserves sir. to be yes, beat here. Final common fruit is the spike fruit. This fruit, you would not want to step on. But also, you wouldn't really want to use it either because not only is its Z move really bad unless you charge it all the way, it's whirlwind move also extremely mid and your arms look like that spike barrage is like only good if you hold it down the only really redeeming feature of the spike fruit is this move here the sonic move but even that it looks kind of bad and it isn't really useful if you're fighting against other players this fruit also has like nothing actually fun about it at all it's basically just a really bad dough that's what this fruit is so if i had to rate spike it would probably be loki almost an f tier fruit but instead i'll put it in c tier because i don't think there's a like an actual f tier i mean these two are kind of like pretty close so you know, i'll put them in there for now you know what i'll actually just leave them in there because they are bad next is arguably one of the coolest design fruits in this game the flame fruits now not only does that fruit look cool but it's awakened move
moves are also pretty good for damage. It's also really nice just having a low gear fruit so you don't have to worry about taking damage. And although it is slow, it does have a flight, which is more than some other things get. Not only that, you can also throw a literal sun at any enemy that you want, which in my books is pretty cool. However, it is certainly not A tier. It's definitely very high B tier in my books. Now, next up, we have got the godly falcon fruits. This fruit is so heavily slept on, it's crazy. Now, in an actual PvP situation, falcon isn't doing much. However, if I'm 1v1ing send pirates, I will happily take a falcon any day of the week. I have managed to beat him when he had dragon using this fruit. Now, in terms of flight speed, this fruit is pretty slow. It's not super fast, but the moves it has are also like kind of limited, which does slightly suck. So although I really like this fruit, I'm honestly super biased because realistically, I'm never killing anyone in PvP with this ever. So this fruit can only realistically go in B tier. Now we've got the ice fruit, which in the looks department looks really clean. And not only that, it's our first fruit with actual left clicks. Left clicks are so underrated in this game. Not only is it low gear as well, so you can actually just get close when you're farming and not have to worry unless you're in the third seat. Not only that, but its moves, the fact that they freeze and stun are so good. And my personal favorite thing about this fruit is how bugged ice skating gets when you hit a slight ramp. It's honestly my favorite thing about this entire fruit, just because you can do that. Like, <laughs> look at that. Honestly, there's nothing better. Also, you can't forget about the fact that it's functional. You can stand on water without worry. So the ice fruit for me is honestly an A tier fruit. Like the stuns, everything else make it perfect, but not quite S tier. Sand fruit for me was going to be an instant A tier. However, there is one major weakness with this fruit. And it involves one of the most key parts of Blocks fruits, and that's the ocean. As if you step in the water, you take so much more damage than just a regular fruit. It's ridiculous. But just in general, like this fruit's moves look kind of sick. They also do tons of damage, which I like. And my favorite move, just being able to like grab an enemy and trap him like that. So cool, bro. And don't even get me started on this move. Like my arm might look broken right now. But that's one of the coolest. So despite all of these things, I sadly have to put sand in B tier. So I've never really got into PvP or anything yet, but this fruit, the dark fruit, is supposed to be one of the best combo fruits in the entire game, which I can totally see why. Other than the fact that the fruit itself looks terrible, we've got a move that literally slashes you towards whoever you aim at. We've got this move that just pulls people in and they can't escape. And then just dark floor. Like they step on this, they can't move. Oh, and you've also got like the B-Tech flame fruit attack here as well which is honestly all pretty sick. My favorite thing about this fruit is literally just dimensional slash being so cool. Easily one of my favorite moves in all of Black's fruits. But what does that make this fruit? I think A tier is super solid for dark. Definitely deserves an A tier. Next up, we have got the diamond fruits. And this fruit could possibly be the first F rank. I can't stand this fruit. It's so bad. There's people out there who think this is the mini Buddha fruits. But let me show you why it's not. Number one reason move is bad. Look at that cooldown. I mean, yeah, it's only got four moves as well. The damage reduction also sucks. Not only that, beaming tackle doesn't have much range at all. The only cool thing about this fruit that makes it kind of fun is the fact that you can flashbang people. But apart from that, this fruit, it has to go F tier for me. I can't stand the diamond fruit. But now we're getting onto one of the goat fruits. We've got the light fruit. This fruit, once again, has left clicks, which is already pretty insane. Not only that, its moves are literally busted once you awaken it. Every single one of these moves... Ow. Ow. Okay, maybe not Longman. Maybe let's not fight Longman. Every single one of these moves look yes, cool. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. it does so much damage. This fruit was literally my favorite fruit to level up with in the first C. So for that reason, because I enjoyed it so much, it has to be an S tier. But now it's time for one of the most controversial fruits ever. The rubber fruits. The reason I say controversial is because people with no skill say this fruit is terrible. However, to me, this fruit is easily one of the best. Number one reason why it's one of the best. You can absolutely launch yourself to the moon if you really want to. Like I just crossed most of turtle in one slingshot. And I could go even further if I aimed it further. This fruit also also does have left clicks. Mind you, they're not very good unless you get transformation. But my favorite thing about this fruit is honestly the slight combo potential you have with this thing. Like there's so many different things you can do with this fruit that just make it so good. And honestly, just make it like one of my favorites. And I won't lie to you, I also thought this fruit was like incredibly mid in the past. However, I've really come to like this fruit. In fact, I like it so much so that I'd put it in A tier. Back to back glorious fruits. We've got barrier next. Now this fruit might not be one of the best for PvP damage looks. 
or for being like at all functional. But my goodness, does it have a good ability. You can block people from coming inside of Turtle Mansion. Now, if that's not a W, I don't know what is. Also, the barrier C move is like surprisingly not bad because although it puts you in place, you do get like coverage around yourself, which is kind of cool. So while this fruit might not have like the most flashy looking attacks and possibly the worst movement ability ever, I like this fruit. I like it. So for the goofy barrier fruit, we're going to put this in B tier. The ghost fruit is next. One of the latest fruits in block suits. And I mean, the best thing about this fruit is this right here. The fact that a little ghost pops out the right side of the fruit. The second best thing isn't actually the minions, which although the minions are really good, it's the fact that you get a second life if you get low. Not only that, I mean like your minions literally attack for you, which is crazy for damage. However, the fruit just doesn't feel that strong in general. So I'd be happy with putting the ghost fruit at like very top of B tier. Now then, I'm like permanently spooky right now, but the next fruit is magma, which has some super cool like visual effects going on on the actual fruits. The actual attacks, I mean like, it's magma, right? It's doing what it says. Now, this fruit is like literally the go-to sea beast hunting fruit. Like if you want to find a sea beast and defeat a sea beast or even a leviathan, this is the fruit that you need. So for that reason, like the fact that it can solo, like basically the hardest content in block streets. And also the fact that it's got that one move called magma floor. Magma has to go in A tier. Now we have got our first legendary fruit, the quake fruit. Now this fruit's visuals, super cool. It's attacking visuals. Um, wait, I've got the, <laughs> I've got the unawakened version on. So I need to, I need to go fix that. How have I still got the unawakened quake? Problem solved. We've now got visuals. And I gotta say, they're honestly kind of mid. The only slightly cool thing about the quake fruit is this move right here. Sea quake, which just spawns like giant tsunamis. However, the only thing about this move that sucks is they basically never hit. If anything, Basento is just like a massively better version of quake. Like this sword right here is literally just like a cooler version of quake. I suppose there is one slightly cool thing about quake. It's the Z move, which when you hit does like this really cool like screen cracking effect. But other than that, I can't stand this fruit. This is like chop fruit to me. So for that simple reason, Quake is going in C tier. Now then, this next fruit could honestly just be the best fruit in all of Block Fruits right here, the Buddha Fruits. And it's for the simple reason that you can become a huge glow stick. Now you might be wondering, why glow stick's so good? Glow stick makes you take like zero damage and gives you bonus reach. So although the moves of the Buddha Fruit itself aren't like crazy cool, I mean, like it looks pretty cool, but they're not insane for like damage and grinding. What makes this fruit so good is the fact that you can just have a fighting style on and basically have reach hacks. This fruit has helped me grind through many a boring grinding session in block suits, so it has to go in S tier. It has to. It can't be anything less. I've also heard it's pretty good in PvP. The next legendary fruit we're looking at is the love fruit. And this fruit is so good. It's heavily slapped on. Now, not only does this fruit have like some crazy long range attacks, but also some like pretty cool close range attacks to pull people in, but you can summon a minion that fights for you. And it's cool as well because it picks a random person from your Roblox friends list. Like this guy's got the chopper hat on. He just absolutely pieced up that mob all by himself. Like, look, I don't even have to play the game. The game's playing itself for me. And you might be thinking, oh, that's kind of cool, but that's not S tier. I'm about to show you why this fruit is S tier. As soon as my best friend dies, which honestly he won't, he wins those. Okay, never mind. But it's the fact that you can do this. If I go like this, you can kidnap NPCs on your flamingo ride move, which is what makes this fruit so good. Easily my favorite thing about the fruit. So because you can kidnap NPCs, that's an S tier. Next up, we have got the spider fruit, which along with looking super cool, just lets you be Spider-Man. Like how could you dislike just being spy- Okay, hang on, that wall wasn't meant to be there. Just dislike being Spider-Man. Also, it's got like some of the longest range moves in the entire game. The sniper move is supposed to be one of the longest. And also this heavenly punishment move is some of the highest single attack damage any fruit has. 9k. Other than that, like its other moves are kind of mid, but it is a fun fruit to use. It is however, incredibly bad for grinding. So for that reason, I'm gonna stick spider in A tier just because I've seen some absolute combo gods go crazy with this fruit. The sound fruits. This fruit looks really cool. And not only do its attacks look cool as well, but the tempo meter is like a super unique thing that no other fruits have. And the fact that it like changes the look of all of the moves when you're in tempo is amazing. And don't get me started on the disco move. 
This move has too much range. Like, honestly, you could hit someone from halfway across the map with that move. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know as well is the tempo meter also gives you defense and speed buffs when you have it, making this just like one of the strongest fruits in general. And once again, like, I don't know how good this fruit is for PvP. I can imagine it's probably decent. Certainly not as good as other fruits. So I'm going to put this at basically the top of A tier. The Phoenix fruits. The best looking fruit physically in the entire game. At least in my opinion. The way that it flies like that just makes it like instantly S tier. But the rest of the fruits is also S tier. And the fact that in this mode, you've got like a click. You've got a changed F move that does damage. You've got an X move. You've got a C move that looks incredibly cool. And you can heal. Like, what's not to like? Well, I'm about to show you what's not to like in literally just a second. Because that's how long it takes to lose your stamina with this fruit. Because when you're transformed, you burn through your energy just for being in the mode. And healing up as well takes an absolute ton of energy to do. And also, what I don't really like about this fruit is it doesn't really do too much when you're just, like, in base form. So that's why, for me, Phoenix is honestly just, like, around the ghost tier. It's not as fun as things like Spider. Next up, we have got Portal. And literally, I don't need to say anything for this fruit. It's just the best fruit in all of Block's fruit. And there's no denying it. Literally, you can say what you want, but not only can you literally escape people if you're being attacked and go into a different dimension, but this right here is what makes this fruit the best. Being able to TP wherever you want across the map, this is probably the fruit that I have equipped the most ever. So there's no debate that this is just like the best fruit in all of Blocks Roots. Like if I want to go to the second sea, I can literally go to port in half a second and be out of this sea whenever I want. So I won't have anyone disrespecting Portal and S tier. Rumble is the next legendary fruit on this list. And not only does it look so sick with the lightning and the little thundercloud above its head, but this fruit, in my opinion, has some of the coolest looking attacks in all the game. Just firing a lightning bolt at someone doesn't get better. Giant black thunderball also super cool. And also the fact that, I mean, it doesn't have a fly, but it's got those three TPs, which is also kind of cool. This fruit would have been like an S tier for me, especially with its combo potential. However, there is one reason why it's not S tier. This fruit right here is the reason why this is an S tier. Because if you didn't know, you can't hit people with rubber if you have rumble, which is honestly like the biggest nerf this fruit could have got, but it makes complete sense. Like it's a low gear and everything. So it's like super strong. You don't get hurt. However, it's A tier. Now there's a reason why this fruit looks so sad and it's because it's so bad. Bad. Like, I can't stand this fruit. It's so mid. I'm about to show you the one redeeming feature of this fruit. It's not even fun to use. Torture is kind of cool, but you can't even like, once you tap, it goes where you tap. So if I want to change from that guy there to there, you literally can't. The only slightly good thing about this fruit is the fact that the moves just go really far. Like I hit that mob all the way from over here, which I don't know, like it, it's cool. It's got four attacking moves and like a kind of movement move. Doesn't change the fact that I'm putting it in F tier. Next up, we have got the Blizzard Fruits. He's just a shivery cold little boy. But through the shivering, it's one of the most OP fruits in the entire game. I feel like for PvP, this fruit's probably quite strong due to the fact that you can just catch people in your tornadoes. Not only that, it's got a domain that's like the entire size of Great Tree. What's not to like? Oh, and also you can just like fly forever and just infinite combo people. Now, if things like Kitsune and stuff weren't in this game, this would be an S tier for me. However, for now, it's just simply an A tier. Very high A tier though. Now we are on the mythical fruits and also the first big disappointment in all of Block Streets, the gravity fruit. Now this fruit looks insanely cool. The moves themselves, I mean like, they're all right. It's got like an extremely mid-looking meteor and like six extremely mid-looking meteors. But the thing that makes this fruit so bad is this. The fact that most of those missed. Like, what is that? How are you going to have a move that barely hits? Like, I mean, I guess the X move is kind of cool. Like, you hold them down with gravity. But, like, that's not good enough. And also, you can't use Boulder Flight unless you touch the floor first. It is kind of cool how you, like, take the material or whatever you use when you use Boulder Flight. So, like, look, now it's, like, that color. But gravity is still just a C tier fruit for me. We are on the juicy fruits now. We've got Mammoth. Although, I mean, the fruit looks like a mammoth. It's kind of cool. But what makes this fruit so cool? is the attacking moves. This move is so sick. That's just base form as well. The other like attacks with the shadowy mammoth above you, also incredibly cool. But my favorite thing about mammoth is simply the transformation. It's so sick. I love it so much. This fruit, easily one of the coolest. It's also like one of the scariest things ever when it's just like charging towards you and there's nothing you can do. So this fruit, easy S tier. Now, as you can see by the next fruit, we've got our little tail there already. And that is the T-Rex fruit. This fruit looks insanely cool. But what I like most about this fruit is once you get out of base form, like that X move, kind of cool. 
It's also got a left click in base, which makes it way more fun than like 90% of the other fruits in this game. However, what really makes this fruit is once we fill up the fury meter. This right here is why the fruit's so good. You can just be a T-Rex and you can just vibe. Now also the hunter's mark is like a really cool, unique ability. Where the further away someone is from you, the more passive damage they take. I didn't think we'd get a fruit that's like basically as strong as mammoth so soon, but that's exactly what T-Rex is. So T-Rex, also an S tier. Now next up is the doe fruit. And honestly, before some of these new fruits came out, this was literally my favorite fruit in the entire game. Like the fact that you can go on water with it, the fact that the hacky shows up around the doe as well, insanely cool. Not only that, but somebody is like unskilled as me, can use a combo with this fruit without much issue. But easily the best thing about this entire fruit isn't the fact that it's got like left clicks or anything. It's the C move. The fact that the C move is so cool is what makes this fruit like arguably one of my favorite fruits in the entire game. So although I have to do it again, this fruit is also just getting S tier. It's time for my favorite fruit in blocks fruits. And it just so happens to be nighttime as well, which is the perfect time for this fruit to shine. So this fruit has something called an umber meter, which fills up in the darkness. And it's also like it gets faster and faster as it goes on. The fruit itself also looks insanely cool. Super devious. However, that's not the best thing. The attack's incredibly cool because you use bats to attack. It also just has like a complete life leech move. So if you get low, you can just regen. But the best thing about this fruit is this. The fact that you can just use a domain expansion and anybody who gets trapped inside just gets hit by bats and they can't escape. Although I hate to admit it, this fruit does lack a couple of things, mainly being range. And the problem with the domain is, is people can just like flash step outside, which does bring a tear to my eye when that happens. But for my sake, this fruit's an S tier. This fruit right here is called the Venom Fruit. And although it looks incredibly devious, like it places down spicy water on the floor that if they walk into, they take a lot of damage. Also creates like a spicy breath. And if you transform, just makes like all of these moves even stronger. As you can see, like it changes the spicy floor's color. And its F move as well has like heat seeking poison things. The main appeal of this fruit is the fact that you can just place down a toxic fog. It just covers like a bunch of area. But I think I've heard in PVP that that's like kind of mid. The model of the Venom Beast, super cool. So for me, this fruit, <laughs> it kind of, it has to be another S tier. We're getting too many S tier fruits now. This fruit right here, although it looks happy, was gonna be put in the F tier. However, there is a couple things about this fruit that make it like not complete trash. The room itself is kind of mid. Levitate, also very hard to hit. And Echo Knife, also pretty cool how you like slice them up into little bits. And don't get me started on the fact that this move just starts a complete unskippable cutscene on the enemy. However, not only do all of these moves have to be used in the room. So if somebody just like, I don't know, steps outside of the room, you're useless. But the teleport is honestly like not super amazing either. It's probably one of the better parts of this fruit, but that doesn't compare at all to the ultimate part of this fruit, which is the fact that you can pick up this thing in Sea Castle. You can pick up Yoink. an entire part of the castle with this fruit. But also if someone's boat is just blocking your way, you can literally just grab it Yoink. and throw it away. <laughs> like, it just moves out the way. But even with like those two main things, making it like semi fun to use, I can't rank this high any higher than B tier. Now we have got the spirit fruit. This fruit's model, really clean. Also, the fact that there's like an entire mini game in this fruit in itself with this bar on the right, where if you click it in the blue side, it spawns like a good spirit. And then like the bad side, it spawns like an evil one. I really like how there's so many different things you can get. Also the moves themselves, I mean like they don't look too bad. It's more about the fact that they just do so much damage that makes this fruit good. However, my favorite thing about this fruit isn't that you can spam spirits. It's this end of times move that just looks so cool. Other than that, like you can hop on your spirit things and like fly around, but it's super slow and not really worth doing. I have, however, heard that this fruit's like very good for combos. Like you can do some really good combos. So for that simple reason, although I've never really dived into it myself, I feel like I have to put spirit in S tier because I feel like if you get good with this fruit, I feel like you could easily kill people that use like T-Rex and Doe. Next up, we've got the old dragon fruit. Now we're supposed to be getting like a reworked dragon fruit somewhat soon. Hasn't happened yet, but the current dragon fruits, if I'm being honest, it's kind of mid. Like you've got this wing flight move. You've got like a beam. You've got this cool claw, which like that's a cool move. Like the fact that you grab and drag them. And then fire shower is also like super cool. And once my fury meter fills up, I'll showcase like arguably the coolest thing about this fruit. Here we go. It's time to showcase dragon mode. Meow. This fruit is only good because of this. Like its moves all change. It gets like a crazy cool like 
barrage blast thing, which is kind of mid because it stops you in place. I'm sure this fruit's just going to get like infinitely better when the new update comes out. But all those things aside, current dragon fruit, it's got to go in S tier as well, but like lower end of S tier. It could eventually become like S plus, especially after the update. Do we even need to like spend time ranking this? This is like the easiest S tier fruit in all of blocks fruits. The fact that you get left clicks, you get so much spam with this fruit, it can make even the worst players good, which is why I like it so much. It's also like incredibly fast, which is crazy good. So this fruit, it's S tier. It's not even close. Now this is the current most expensive fruit in blocks fruits. The Kitsune fruit. Looks incredibly cool. Not only that, it's got left clicks in base form. All of its moves as well, just look insanely cool. The blue fire, they've absolutely cooked. So it's already an S tier just from these things. But wait, you'll notice we've only got one tail right now. Now I've got two tails, but my running and jumping changes. And then also, once you get to three tails and then completely fill up the three tail bar, you unlock the transformation. There we go, there we go. Which if I do this... You become a Kitsune. And now this fruit's moves all just become like insanely cool, do tons of damage. You keep your left clicks. If all of that wasn't worthy of S tier, you can also carry people on the saddle. But my all-time favorite thing about this fruit is the fact that you can make a Kitsune tower. That's the best thing about this fruit. So that just makes Kitsune by default the best fruit in the game. So that's my list of every single fruit in block fruits. Let me know what you think. If you'd rank anything higher or lower, I won't hear it for any of these in F tier though. You can't make me change. But click subscribe if you want to see me rank every single sword next.